Have you ever thought about how your dreams could become a way for you to explore the very nature of reality? Dreams are not random experiences that we witness at night, but can be seen as a voyage into the depths of our consciousness. Sometimes they can serve as portals that lead us from this dimension to others and provide us the solace our body and mind are yearning for. Almost all of us witnessed dreams larger than life, intensely vivid, and left a strong aftertaste that lasted for hours and days. Such dreams are often draped in vibrant colors, awash with surreal landscapes, evoking sensations that challenge our waking perceptions. Waking up from such dreams feels bizarre. It's as if we are switching realities in real time. What does that tell you about dreams? Perhaps the dreams we see hold secrets to the greatest mysteries of our life and the universe, because the boundaries between 3D reality and imagination are blurred in a dream, we can sometimes witness the magic that is inconceivable in the material world. And just maybe, the truths that elude our mind during the waking hours could be comprehended through a dream state. This is the fascinating realm of dreams and extrasensory perception. If you are curious about how dreams impact your life and how they could have a direct relation with the reality we experience through our senses, this is the video for you. Not only are we going to explore the scientific research being done on this topic, but also how dreams have been used by various cultures and traditions to understand the essence of reality better. An average human being spends around one-third of his life sleeping, so assuming that the dreams we encounter every night have nothing to do with our life and reality is rather naive. This is the reason the realm of dreams has caught the attention of researchers, psychologists and spiritual masters since forever. Open any mythology or visit any ancient or native culture and you will find references to dreams. Dreams are such a powerful experience that even a common man, with no relation to science or spirituality, would be curious to learn their symbolism. One prominent culture which laid great emphasis on dreams and the messages they convey was ancient Egypt. Around 1350 BC, a book was compiled in ancient Egypt that documented the dreams and discussed their meanings. This book carried images and scenes that were often witnessed by dreamers and the explanations of those dreams. The ancient Egyptians believed that every dream was an oracle, carrying a profound underlying meaning. However, since not everyone could read or write during those times, the priests were charged with the duty to interpret the dreams for them. Some visitors were even granted this special privilege to spend nights at the temple, where the priests could help them understand their dreams the very next morning. Some indigenous communities in the Amazon also hold dreams as a source of wisdom and guidance. One such tribe is the Achua tribe, where dream interpretation and understanding are intricately woven into their shared cultural identity. The people of the Achua tribe of the Amazon believe that the dreams we see at night are not whimsical stories, but rather a passage for God, the higher beings and the ancestors to communicate with us. In the waking hours, the human mind is filled with mental clutter that it is unable to receive and decipher any messages of guidance. The Achua tribe has this interesting tradition of waking between 3 to 4 a.m. every morning to share their dreams with the community. The entire community gathers in tiny huts and dreams are shared and interpreted in long discussions. They believe that the guidance received from the dream is essential for a fruitful day ahead, so the activities are planned considering the wisdom acquired from the dream. Because dreams are such a central part of their everyday lives, the elders of the Achua tribe teach their young ones the art and skill of dream interpretation from a young age. These children cultivate invaluable dream interpretation skills by sitting with their elders and actively engaging in these conversations. This practice allows the children to absorb rich narratives and insights passed down through generations, 
The detailed discussions revolve around discerning patterns, images, and symbols from dreams, and how the dream's content may be used to improve one's life experience. Another particularly captivating aspect of dreams is a phenomenon called lucid dreaming. Lucid dreams refer to remarkably vivid dreams that feel real. In these dream states, the individual can control the unfoldment of the dream through focus and deliberate practice. In lucid dreams, individuals become aware that they are dreaming, leading to heightened consciousness. Cultivating lucidity in dreams does not come easily. But many still devote themselves to this art, for this practice not only enriches the experience of dreaming, but also opens doors for self-exploration and creativity. Many individuals use lucid dreaming to overcome fears, visualize and rehearse real-life scenarios. So dreams are not like the film we see on a projector, but much rather like a virtual playground where we can live and breathe in fantasy and rejoice in the experience. It's akin to wearing a VR headset. If you are interested in harnessing this skill, we will discuss a simple step-by-step -step method for easily entering a lucid dream. You will be able to utilize the method from as early as tonight, no matter your prior experience. But more on that in a minute. So while Eastern cultures and traditions have long recognized the importance of dreams, the Western literary world was introduced to their significance through Aristotle's seminal work on dreams. Aristotle viewed dreams as remnants of our waking reality that slip into the sleeping hours. He stated that understanding the dreams in connection with one's life and psychological states can offer incredible explanations. While most people view the 3D reality as the end-all and be-all of human existence, philosophers and ascended masters have always questioned its authenticity. Most spiritual traditions state that many other dimensions and worlds exist beyond our time-space continuum. They might be like the dimension we are in now, or totally different. But the most interesting part of this argument is that even though there are infinite realities and dimensions to reality, they all are a part of the one cosmic mind, the divine consciousness. For humans, their subconscious mind acts as the doorway that connects us to the infinite consciousness from which everything springs forth. At night, when we are asleep, the conscious mind is inactive and out of the picture. This provides us with the opportunity to access reserves of the subconscious. Therefore, the dreams we see are often processed out from those subconscious residues. The dreams can sometimes be about a long-forgotten event or a minor detail. Though a person is not consciously aware of these memories because they exist as residues in the subconscious, they can appear in dreams. Also, because the subconscious is connected to the infinite consciousness, it can sometimes extract information, insights and solutions that are inaccessible to the conscious mind. In words of Joseph Murphy, over 90% of your mental life is subconscious. If you fail to make use of this marvelous power, you condemn yourself to live within very narrow limits. Stephen LaBerge, an American psychologist specializing in the area of lucid dreaming, explains that people who frequently indulge in lucid dreaming experience spiritual growth and expansion. In the dream state, they visit heavenly realms where they meet other celestial bodies, which can sometimes offer advice and solutions the dreamer has been looking for. If you are interested in lucid dreaming, here is a step-by-step, easy-to-follow technique. The first important part of lucid dreaming is cultivating a profound self-awareness so you may carry it in your dreams. If you are not self-aware during your waking hours, doing it during sleep is next to impossible. A widely used technique for achieving this is known as reality testing. It involves checking if you are in a dream state several times during your waking hours. To reality check during the say, you can employ several different methods. Method 1. You can observe your hands several times a day. Each time, look at them and count your fingers. When you are dreaming, your hands will appear unfamiliar or distorted somehow. Method 2. 
You can read a text, gaze at the words and then look away, then bring your gaze back to the text. The text will vanish or become blurred if you are in a dream state. After you have practiced reality testing methods for a few days, you can begin using a technique called mnemonic induction of lucid dreams. You need to start by repeating an intention through a simple affirmation like, Tonight, I will be fully aware that I am in a dream. Mentally repeat this intention affirmation over and over again. As you lay down and close your eyes, imagine yourself becoming lucid within a dream. Visualize taking control of the dream's narrative. Allow yourself to drift off to sleep while maintaining this focus and gentle repetition of the affirmation. Then, as soon as you wake up, try to recall as much of your dream as possible. You can also keep a dream journal where you log in all the details of your dreams. With dedication and practice, you will notice that you are becoming better at recognizing and remembering your dreams, and that will be the start of a delightful adventure in the magical world of lucid dreaming. Each night will become a stunning opportunity for exploration and discovery, allowing you to engage with the limitless possibilities that the dream world offers all of us. While dreaming has long been a subject of attraction for mystics, scientific research has also made incredible gains in the area in a rather short window of time. Working with his team at Maimonides Dream Research Center, New York, Stanley Krippner, a psychologist and author, designed experiments that involved waking up the participants during their REM sleep cycles. REM sleep is a unique phase characterized by rapid eye movements and an active brain. The brain activity during this sleep phase is similar to the brain activity during the waking hours. REM sleep begins about 90 minutes after the person has fallen asleep, and during this stage of sleep, dreaming occurs. This project, conducted by Stanley Krippner, tested the hypothesis that sleeping individuals could dream about features of randomly designated target items, like films, illustrations, photographs, or artistic prints. So in one of the experiments, they woke up the study participants and made them recall the contents of a letter placed in another room. This was one of the hundreds of studies conducted over the years, and experiments saw significant success. Not only were the participants able to access the contents of the letter next room, but they could also establish clairvoyance and receive prophecies about the future. The scientific term for this phenomenon is precognition, so can dreams really predict the future? While scientific research is limited, 17 to 38 percent of the population is believed to have experienced at least one precognitive dream. The metaphysical explanation for this phenomenon is rather simple. At the energy level, we are all one, and everything in this world and beyond emanates from the same source. Some call it God, others call it energy or consciousness. It is rather an energetic field, a pool of quantum vibrations from where manifestations come about. All of your dreams, desires, and everything else exists in this divine field as a possibility. But because we live in a reality bound by time and space, we cannot experience them all at once. While time is an incredibly important tool for navigating life, it is still a purely human construct. In the dimensions beyond ours, there is no time. Similarly, the energy field of infinite consciousness has no time. Everything there just exists. It can be your past, present or future. However, these distinctions do not apply in the quantum realm. So, when tuned into the frequency of ESP, the human mind can receive information from the quantum field. Many people meditate to get their way in the quantum field, but research has shown that almost 65% of spontaneous ESP experiences occur in dreams. In a dream, the state of consciousness is altered thus providing the dreamer a chance to glimpse into the past, present or future, which all exist as signals of information in the quantum field. A famous story of a precognitive dream relates to President Abraham Lincoln. It has been reported that the president dreamed of his own death just days before he was assassinated in 1865. 
Reportedly, Abraham Lincoln witnessed a dream in which many people were mourning and sobbing. Seeing this, he grew curious and decided to investigate the matter. Walking around the East Room of the White House, he saw a corpse dressed for a funeral. As Lincoln inquired the people around him about the dead, he learned that the corpse was of a president who was assassinated. Abraham Lincoln narrated this dream to his friend and law partner, Ward Hill Lehman. Although the dead body in the dream was not of Abraham Lincoln yet, soon after witnessing this dream, the president was assassinated. Coincidence or precognition, you decide for yourself. All this discourse on precognitive dreams, telepathy and ESP may strike as far-fetched and improbable to many. Still, it turns out that even the American government has been testing out the same concepts through different brain training modules over the decades. In 2023, the CIA released a 20-year-old document about the gateway process. The gateway process refers to a mental training technique which utilizes sound frequencies to achieve altered states of consciousness. It includes a mind-relaxing process called hemi-sync, which involves brain hemisphere synchronization. The man behind the creation of this process was Robert Monroe, the founder of Monroe Institute. The human mind, when in its normal state of consciousness, wastes a lot of energy. The brain waves during normal waking hours are highly chaotic, thus making focused attention and heightened awareness nearly impossible. It can be understood as a normal bulb that covers a lot of area with its light, but some areas under the bulb are brightly lit and others not so much. There is an obvious incoherence. Similarly, the unfocused brain in normal states of consciousness is all over the place, incoherent and inefficient. But the gateway process sinks different parts of the brain in such a way that the brain waves become rhythmic, making the brain sharper and highly organized and focused just like a laser beam. As the brain becomes more coherent, it can access higher levels of information from the quantum field. Therefore, the individual utilizing the gateway hemisync process can experience out-of-body states and become exposed to information inaccessible in the 3D realm. Dreams are also said to provide ideas and inspirations. Throughout history, many genius minds have turned to their dreams for novel ideas and groundbreaking solutions. It is said that Nikola Tesla, a great inventor pioneering the generation, transmission and usage of alternating current electricity, used to only sleep for two hours a night. But to compensate for his lack of sleep, he used to take several naps during the day. And during some of his naps, he would find solutions and answers he would be looking for before taking the nap. Here is an excerpt from one of his interviews. When I sleep, I sleep profoundly. To sleep deeply, profoundly, is an art like deep breathing that must be learned. It is one of the secrets of the East. I think that I have discovered the secret. After a profound sleep, no matter how short, I feel so refreshed that even now when I am near 80, I must perform gymnastic feats to subdue my new gained vitality. So asserting that all dreams are always accurate and 100% real would not be true. But looking at the various mental experiments they have been employed in, from telepathy to precognition, from ESP to collecting data from the quantum field, we can confidently say that they are definitely a portal to the other dimensions. How much precision one's dream holds in relation to reality depends on the mindset and mental training of the dreamer.